Hey Year 10, Mr. Tapley here for your next lesson of Year 10 Geography. Uh, this lesson, uh, we're trying to be modern. <laughs> we're trying to connect human activities in 2020, this wonderful year that we're having, um, to climate change uh, changes or variances in 2020. So how has climate change changed? Uh, success criteria is to explain how climate change has been impacted by COVID-19 and how these changes will affect future environmental change. This lesson, we will be connecting our geography studies to current events, examining the impact of COVID-19 to climate change in 2020. The social and economic restrictions enforced by COVID-19 have profoundly impacted human activities that usually contribute to climate change. So we've got less uh, airplanes flying around, so less uh, boats going around the ocean uh, delivering goods and services. We've got less humans out in their cars traveling to work or traveling wherever. Lots of activities that contribute to climate change have now decreased. The reduced level of manufacturing, transport, travel, and business has actually led to positive environmental change. So if you're trying to find a positive in all of this, that's one of them. Humans are suffering, but the environment's doing well. <laughs> um, for example, in China, NO2 levels dropped by 30% after lockdown restrictions started in late January, and coal consumption fell by 40% in just a few months from January to April, which is uh, shown in these graphs, not just China, but some of the other major capital cities of the world, New York, London, Madrid and Spain, Delhi and in India, Rome, Paris, etc. The environmental health of our air, water and land has all improved uh, during COVID-19 restrictions. This quick little video down here shows you uh, some actual like on the street footage of what the environment looks like and how it's different. So clearer water and cleaner air. So check that out, two minutes 50, nice short video. And then you can see some of these screenshots from an article I've taken. So less air travel, less carbon emissions. Industry shut down, so we've got uh, cleaner waterways, clever rivers and uh, lakes. Less carbon emissions from traffic, foot traffic. I quite like this one as well. There's a few images like this. So this is one for LA, but you can see images as well in Asia and Europe. The difference between before and after of lockdown restrictions. So this was before COVID-19. So notice the difference in air pollution in the smog that's almost covering the city skyline in the first image. That's LA, capital of California. And this is LA now. <laughs> How much better does that look? That's insane. You can actually see the city, water looks nice and clean, no traffic, I'm all about that. Anyway, um, so this lesson, I'd like you to read this article. So this news article here, to help you answer these three questions in your digital notebook. So question one, outline the positive environmental impacts of COVID-19. So consider the effects of the lockdown restrictions on climate change and pollution. Those screenshots that I showed you before, those have actually come from that Vice article down here. So go find more information about that in that article there. i will show you the article as well, I suppose. Do, 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 do. Anyway, well, laptops are going very slowly today. Question two. Um, reflect on whether these positive changes will continue to occur in 2021. In your response, justify why or why not you believe these changes will continue. So the environment has improved, um, its health has improved during uh, the coronavirus global pandemic. Do you think the positive changes to the environment will continue next year? Or are we going to fall back into our old habits and then justify why or why not you think that will occur? Question three. Explain what needs to be done in the future to maintain the positive environmental changes COVID-19 lockdowns have created. So no real, I guess, wrong answers for questions two and three are more after your personal opinion. So getting you guys to reflect, to, I guess, think about your thinking, some critical thinking. So have a read of the article, answer those three questions in your digital notebook. There's lots of other cool little videos like this one that I showed you there that show you the difference between like a before and after uh, coronavirus environment. <laughs> you can see some really cool images of the world. So I recommend going and do some uh, extra research if you have time. Otherwise, best of luck with that guys. Hope you're well and uh, cheers.